National shortage of cancer treatment medications has some pharmacists around the country struggling to fill orders. But if you're a cancer patient or you love somebody in cancer treatment, should you be worried about this? It's a national shortage. So we wanted to check this out here on our first coast. We told you about it last night. We were concerned that you might be worried. and You probably are. Atia Collins is on your side talking to cancer centers around our first coast and getting into pharmacies for a first-hand look at the supplies right now. For some local pharmacies here in Jacksonville, like Osteen's, they still have full shelves. That supply shortage not reaching them quite yet, but they are talking to patients. You need the treatment right away. Any delay in care is a serious issue when we're talking cancer. John Eckert is measuring out methotrexate, one of the four cancer drugs in shortage according to the Food and Drug Administration. While he has supply for now, the national shortage is a serious concern as stocking these prescriptions is no easy task and switching to a different drug may come with side effects, be less effective, and could be more costly. These are very targeted therapies uh, for, for specific types of cancers, and there might only be one or two options that are targeting that cancer. But patients here in Jacksonville don't have to be alarmed just yet. Pharmacists believe the national shortage may take time to impact local stores that already have supplies in stock. Leaders at Baptist Health, which houses a cancer treatment center, said in a statement their patients have not been impacted as they use various supply avenues which have allowed us to obtain and maintain the stock we need. But for those who are worried about future impact... Hang in there, um, talk to your doctor. Um, you know, there's lots of very, very good, very talented cancer specialists here in Jacksonville, um, and they are going to do everything they can to make sure you're getting the treatment that is, that is going to work for you. As a form of action, the FDA is requesting that manufacturers give at least a six-month notice before a shortage to find ways to avoid it. Reporting in Jacksonville, Tia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.